When we have approximately linear data, that is, data that are scattered along a line, we might naturally ask, what line is it? The line that our data are scattered along is called the line of best fit. The line of best fit comes as close as possible to all of the data points. Now there are rules that we can use for calculating exactly what that line is that you'll learn in a later course. But for now, we want to get just the visual impression of what it means to have the line of best fit. So, let's look again at those temperatures and absences. How could we find the line of best fit for these data? Well, I can tell you what the line of best fit is not. This line is definitely not the line of best fit. It's too high. It goes above almost all of the points. Similarly, this line is not the line of best fit. It's too low. Even if we have a line that goes right along, right through the middle of the data, this is not the line of best fit. It's too steep. What might the line of best fit look like? The line of best fit should look like it goes right down the middle of the data. So this line looks like it might plausibly be it. Though I think that my angle might be a little bit too steep because I'm far away from these points out here. If we want to, we can have a computer draw the line of best fit as well. According to the computer, this is the actual line of best fit. And the computer will even tell us the equation, All right, rounding the coefficients a little bit. The equation of this line is y equals negative 0.316x plus 5.075. The computer uses this f of x notation. Don't worry about that too much. That's just saying that it's naming the relationship. That line of best fit doesn't look too far away from the one that we just kind of came up with by looking. So how do we use this? Well, we might ask a question like the following. Suppose we know that it'll be five degrees below zero tomorrow. How many students then do we expect to see absent? If we've just drawn the line freehand, well, here's 5 degrees below zero. Here is the point on the line corresponding to 5 degrees below zero. And that has a y-coordinate between 6 and 7. From the graph, we expect 6 or 7 students to be absent. From the equation, if we found the actual equation for the line of best fit, we plug in x is negative 5. This is a job for the calculator. And plugging in the rounded numbers is probably enough negative 0.316 times negative 5 plus 5.075 and we get y is 6.655 and so again we expect 6 or 7 students to be absent. In general then how do we use the line of best fit? We use the line of best fit to make predictions about future observations.